Stephen, well played. Uh, from a captain's point of view, uh, looking at the day as a whole, it was just a day where everything seemed to go as planned. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, look, we spoke this morning uh, in, in our team huddle about how we wanted um, the game to look a, a, a around that time. Um, you know, we wanted, I, I said at, at lunch, we wanted a, a, a 4.50 minimum. Um, you know, we were lucky enough, myself and Clarky, to, to obviously put a decent partnership on and, and get a few out the middle and get us ahead of that, which was obviously, and then we, we said 500 with, and then when we got 500, we wouldn't lose two overs because of the tea break, uh, at the normal declaration. So, you know, I think 37 overs was a, was a good time and, and set them over 500 and then to take them three wickets tonight, I think was massive. Sure, and in terms of your personal performance today, you've hit the fastest county championship century in Nottinghamshire's history. What does that stat mean to you? Uh, well, it was nice to get 100 after missing out on the first um, in the first innings, but I didn't really think of it to be honest until I probably got to about 80 odd, um, you know, and I knew that I was, you know, trying to score quickly with a short edge, so I knew I had a chance. But um, look, it was at first, first it was about obviously extending that lead as, as much as possible, and then you know, hopefully getting Middlesex in a position where they can't win the game, so all their eggs are, are in our basket to, to take wickets. Um, but yeah, obviously very proud and, and, and privileged to get another 100 and hopefully, you know, there's a couple more yet this season. And I'll read you a list of names now if I can. Uh, Stuno Gavaskar, Sachin Tendulkar, Brian Lara, Matthew Hayden. All world giants, but they never managed to get 100 here at Lord's. You've managed that. That must be special. Yeah, it, I've been, you know, I've been fortunate. I've, I've done okay here. Um, and it's a, a place, obviously, that everybody loves playing, but I think the wicket's fantastic. Um, you always normally play on the short edge, which helps the batters uh, because, obviously, they have a lot of big games in the middle. Um, you know, and I was lucky enough today that it came off and I took, my, um, I took the advantage of that. But you certainly had a licence to play shot today, but it's another thing actually putting it into action. Uh, is it fair to say that everything you tried with the bat today seemed to come off? Yeah, I even got a reverse sweep out that I've been practising for the winter, so... Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I was calculated. Like it wasn't. I didn't think it was reckless at any point. I thought that I, I picked my options quite well and used the short edge, as I've said, to my advantage, um, both off and leg side. Uh, and then, you know, with Joe, played smart cricket to get us into a position where, you know, they were really not trying to take wickets and just try and contain. And, you know, our mindset was try and make them think, you know, try and think about when we're going to declare and uh, not about taking wickets. So I think we did that, you know, and then for the bowlers to come out with that intensity, Fletch, I thought was magnificent uh, to get them first two wickets and then James uh, to get the big one of Hanscom. Uh, but I think everyone bowled, fant Stuart's not really got a wicket that second innings, but I thought he bowled fantastically well. And, you know, we have to come back tomorrow, go again in, on a good wicket, uh, probably in, in warmer, but hopefully overcast conditions. Um, and we have to get create seven chances to win, a, to win another game. Yeah. And then finally, can we have a word or two on Luke Fletcher? Uh, two fifties in both innings. Is he becoming a genuine all-rounder? Oh, that's a good question. The lads think he is. Um, you know, joking apart, he, he's a, he can play, he, he's, he can bat, definitely. Um, and he's proven that both first innings and second innings going in against the new ball uh, opening. Um, you know, any stats probably don't back up how good he is as a batsman, but I thought he played the situation absolutely magnificently and, and quite well deserved his 250s. Um, you know, and hopefully he can back that up with a fifer. Stephen, thank you very much. Cheers.